some scientists believe that it's really only a matter of time before it erupts again. You know, we don't really know. It could happen any day. Right now, beneath 1,400 meters of Pacific Ocean, the seafloor is doing something it shouldn't. It's rising, swelling, deforming under pressures that have shattered every prediction model scientists rely on. This isn't happening in some distant corner of the planet. This is 300 miles off the Oregon coast, where the most active submarine volcano in the northern Pacific has entered what researchers are calling an unprecedented state of instability. The numbers coming in from deep sea sensors are unlike anything recorded in decades of monitoring. Pressure readings that should take years to accumulate have developed in months. Seismic patterns that typically build gradually are accelerating exponentially. And the most unsettling part? The system has already crossed every threshold that preceded past eruptions. What unfolds when billions of tons of magma surge upward beneath nearly a mile and a half of seawater? Why are volcanologists more concerned about this hidden giant than any visible peak in North America? The answers lie in a story of tectonic forces, technological breakthroughs, and a volcanic system that refuses to follow the rules. Axial seamount doesn't fit the typical volcanic profile. While most people envision towering peaks crowned with ash and lava, this colossus remains forever hidden in perpetual darkness. Its summit crater spans 3 by 8 kilometers, large enough to engulf entire metropolitan areas. Yet for decades it operated in complete obscurity, erupting and reshaping the ocean floor while the world above remained oblivious. The volcano's position makes it uniquely dangerous. It sits directly atop the Juan de Fuca Ridge, where tectonic plates tear apart at 6 centimeters per year. As the seafloor splits, magma rushes upward to fill the void. But Axial has something most ridge volcanoes lack, a second power source. Deep beneath the spreading center lies a mantle hotspot, the same type of superheated plume that feeds Hawaii's volcanic chain. This dual fuel system transforms Axial from a typical submarine volcano into something far more volatile. The combination creates a relentless cycle. The ridge pulls the crust apart while the hot spot pumps fresh magma from hundreds of kilometers below. Together, they've produced a volcano that erupts more frequently than almost any other on Earth. In 1998, 2011, and 2015, Axial followed a predictable pattern. The caldera floor would inflate as magma filled the reservoir. Pressure would build until the rock fractured. Millions of cubic meters of lava would erupt and the floor would deflate. Scientists learned to read these signs with remarkable precision, even predicting the 2015 eruption within weeks. But the current cycle has obliterated those patterns. The inflation rate has surged beyond anything previously recorded. What once took years now unfolds in months. The caldera floor has risen past the critical 2.4-meter threshold that triggered every past eruption, and it keeps climbing. January 2024 marked a turning point. Monitoring systems began registering anomalies that alarmed even veteran researchers. Pressure sensors embedded in the seafloor reported vertical uplift that didn't just match previous eruption thresholds, it exceeded them and continued accelerating. Seismometers detected thousands of microquakes, creating a seismic drumbeat that intensified weekly. Temperature sensors recorded heat signatures consistent with magma approaching the surface. Well, one of the most active volcanoes in the world sits just a few hundred miles off the U.S. West Coast. People, people will not, if we didn't have the ray out there, people would not know that it was going to erupt or that it was erupting. This is the best studied underwater volcano in the world right now. And every time we go through this volcanic cycle, we're learning things new. It's one of the most monitored volcanoes in the world, really, specifically uh, when it comes to undersea volcanoes, and it may be erupting. The Ocean Observatory's initiative has transformed Axial into Earth's most closely watched volcano. This network of deep sea instruments includes seismometers, pressure gauges, hydrophones, and fiber optic cables woven across the caldera floor. 
Every tremor, every millimeter of uplift, every temperature fluctuation streams in real time to research stations across North America. The data reveals something staggering. The magma reservoir sits just one to two kilometers beneath the sea floor, practically at the surface by geological standards. Billions of tons of molten rock are actively inflating this chamber, physically lifting the ocean floor like a massive balloon. But the uplift isn't uniform. Some sections rise faster than others, creating stress fractures that could trigger catastrophic collapse. When submarine volcanoes erupt, they don't produce the spectacular ash plumes we associate with land-based eruptions. Instead, magma at 1 to 200 degrees Celsius meets near-freezing seawater, triggering violent steam explosions and chemical reactions detectable hundreds of miles away. The initial eruption, however, might be the least of our concerns. Decades of volcanic activity have left Axial's caldera walls fractured and unstable. When the next eruption empties the magma chamber, these weakened structures could collapse. Millions of cubic meters of rock and sediment would cascade down the seamount's flanks at speeds exceeding 100 kilometers per hour. This underwater avalanche would obliterate everything in its path. Marine ecosystems, monitoring equipment, and critical infrastructure. Such a collapse wouldn't just reshape the seafloor. When that much material displaces seawater, it generates waves. Models suggest a tsunami could reach the Oregon and Washington coasts in 45 to 60 minutes. While not as massive as those from megathrust earthquakes, these waves would arrive with minimal warning. The threat extends beyond immediate physical damage. Beneath the Pacific lies the nervous system of global communication, fiber optic cables carrying 95% of intercontinental data traffic. These cables connect financial markets, enable emergency services, and keep the modern world functioning. A single severed cable can disrupt entire regions. An eruption-triggered landslide could damage multiple lines simultaneously. The economic implications are staggering. Internet outages, financial system failures, emergency services unable to coordinate, billions of dollars in damages could accumulate within hours. Engineers have long warned about this vulnerability, but the sheer scale of the undersea network makes comprehensive protection nearly impossible. March 2024 brought an unexpected complication. A magnitude 9.0 earthquake ruptured the Japan Trench, releasing energy equivalent to thousands of nuclear bombs. While Japan bore the immediate impact, seismic waves propagated through Earth's crust, redistributing stress across tectonic plates thousands of miles away. The Juan de Fuca Ridge absorbed some of this energy, and Axial Seamount felt the effects. The connection between distant earthquakes and volcanic eruptions isn't theoretical, it's documented fact. After the 2011 Tohoku earthquake, volcanic systems around the Pacific Ring showed increased activity. Stable magma reservoirs suddenly pressurized, dormant systems awakened. The tectonic dominoes fell one by one, and Axial appears to be the latest piece in motion. This links to a more ominous concern. Axial Seamount serves as a real-time stress gauge for the entire Juan de Fuca plate system, the same system that powers the Cascadia subduction zone. This 600-mile fault stretching from Northern California to British Columbia hasn't produced a major earthquake since 1700, when it triggered a tsunami that reached Japan. Seismologists calculate a 37% chance of a magnitude 9-plus earthquake within the next 50 years. Inside a monitoring station in Newport, Oregon, researchers work in shifts, watching data streams that paint an increasingly urgent picture. Dr. Sarah Chen, who successfully predicted the 2015 eruption, describes the current situation as unprecedented. The seismic swarms are intensifying faster than any model anticipated. The system is destabilizing in real time, and the timeline keeps compressing. Over 8,000 microquakes have been detected in the past three months alone. Each represents fracturing rock, moving magma, a system groaning under immense strain. The hydrophones pick up sounds from the deep, the ocean floor literally creaking as it deforms. Magma meeting seawater creates more than explosions. It generates massive hydrothermal plumes, clouds of superheated mineral-rich water rising hundreds of meters above the seafloor. These plumes alter ocean chemistry, scatter marine life, and create thermal signatures visible from space. During the 2015 eruption, plumes transformed the surrounding water for weeks, disrupting ecosystems across a vast area. The current buildup suggests an even larger event. Satellite infrared sensors will likely detect the thermal bloom first, providing visual confirmation of the eruption. 
but by then the cascade of consequences will already be in motion. The maximum alert status isn't hyperbole, it's a classification based on measurable thresholds, historical patterns, and live data. Every metric, uplift measurements, seismic frequency, deformation patterns, points toward imminent release. The system has entered the range where eruption isn't just possible, it's inevitable. For the first time in human history, we can witness these deep ocean processes in real time. Technology has given us front row seats to one of Earth's most powerful phenomena, but observation doesn't grant control. We can watch, we can measure, we can predict, but we cannot prevent what's coming. Axial Seamount represents more than a volcanic threat. It's a window into the massive forces constantly reshaping our planet. The same processes that built the seafloor, that move continents, that generate earthquakes. They're all connected, all part of a system operating on timescales that dwarf human experience. The pressure has been building for years. The crust has stretched to its breaking point. The forces at play are indifferent to human concerns or preparedness. From the darkness of the deep ocean to coastal communities, from global communication networks to marine ecosystems, the effects will ripple outward in ways we're only beginning to understand. The abyss is preparing to demonstrate its power. The question isn't whether axial seamount will erupt, it's whether we're prepared for what comes next. Stay informed, stay alert, because when the ocean floor speaks, the entire Pacific listens. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.